Oh, this is one of those topics that I don't really know how to um, go about it. Um, I know that I'm, I am currently monetizing some videos. Y'all know I'm monetizing some videos. I haven't noticed a decline in viewership from it. I haven't noticed an increase in viewership from it. Um, do I feel a little bit like a sellout? Maybe, just a little bit. Uh, at the same time, in a month from now, give or take, when I'm hunting down, when I'm on eBay hunting down Transformers Prime toys and doing a review of every one of those that comes out because I plan on buying all of them because I enjoy the show and I know I'm going to enjoy having the plastic in my hands because it all looks really nice. Uh, I'm going to be happy about these ads when I'm getting three or four hundred hits a video because when I do toys, especially when I do new toys, I get a lot of views. And um, as much as I'm going to be spending to get those toys, it couldn't hurt to have a few dollars a month come in um, just to help cover gas from going to places to look for them or to help cover shipping that it costs to get them in. Um, you can go to AdSense before everybody freaks out about how uh, BP is going to be putting ads on their channel or how, um, you know, targets against gay people, which wound up that that wasn't how it was actually, that you know, that was a spin that somebody misspun on Target. Target, as far as I know, Target has nothing against gay people. But <laughs> if you want to exclude an ad or block an ad, you can do that from your AdSense. If you know the website for the, so you know, seriously, if you collect a list of the websites that you're uh, have a really big issue with, you can block ads from them. You don't have to take ads from them. If uh, Warner Brothers Music Group has um, you know messed your video up because you use their music in it, then you can type their ad or website in, and you could not have ads from Warner Brothers Music Group on there. It's You can pick and choose what you want to do. At the same time, you know, is it worth it on a vlog like this? No, it's not, and uh, I'm not going to put ads on vlogs anymore. Uh, and, and since I'm going to be doing a lot of vlogs, well, that, okay, fine. You know, that, uh, that's how it's going to be. I'm going to be doing vlogs. People don't really watch me do vlogs. Um, you know, I... 50 people watch me do vlogs, which is great. Those people, that's wonderful. But if I do a toy that's new and not quite easy to find yet, then that's going to get me three or 400 views a video. And in that case, it'll be worth putting the ads on for sure. You know, I won't have to worry about whether or not I feel good about that because I'll feel good about that because that'll help me cover the shipping on whatever it is I'm reviewing. Um, you know, it, it's small things um, you know people go on and on about how much they want to make partner and I'm sitting here wondering it'd be nice to make the money that a partner makes because I know that they're able to net a check in a couple of months and you know I, I, you have to hit a hundred bucks before you reach a check so 50 or 100 bucks a month would definitely make it worth having some ads but I don't know if 50 or 100 bucks a month yeah, 50 or 100 bucks a month would make it worth having a pre-roll ad like Ray has. And like um, Corey, Sports Wolf 3 has. Or like Ron, Mighty Mouse 74 has. These things are... Those are people that I watch that have the ad, that the commercial in front of their video. Does it bother me on those people? No, it really doesn't. Um, I know them. I know they're good people. I know that they're, um, they spend a lot of money to entertain us. And in that sense... I think it's totally worth it for those people to have ads on their videos. I, I think it's good for them. Um, yeah. So, yes, in some ways I, it does bother me a little bit that I'm putting ads and I'm making you people see ads. At the same time, a lot of the ads I've seen pop up on my channel, like the one I watched on, I watched a commercial, a trailer, right there in the corner of, of a movie that I'm probably going to watch now. That I, you know, I, I might not would have watched if I hadn't seen the little trailer up in the corner. So, some of these videos are, some of these ads are directly targeted to my audience. You know, that movie trailer that I saw there that I watched, I actually saw it on my video too over the weekend. Something called Abducted. It looks like a really decent blockbuster style flick, you know. 
um, that is the kind of ad that I want on my channel, you know, it wouldn't make me money for one, but for second, it's, you know, things about action and transformers and explosions and, um, you know, things like that. Those are fine videos for my channel because it's a, it, you know, it is a transformers based channel. So the Creo ads don't bother me. The ad with Megan Fox's ass cheek doesn't bother me. But, you know, um, like I say, you can ex that, that's basically the main point is you can exclude websites that you don't want their ads popping up on your channel. Uh, and I totally respect Lee that you are an advocate for you know for for equal rights and so on and so forth and for the environment. I feel very strongly about the environment. Um, uh, we need to, you know, conserve gas because I still want to drive my 25-year-old Subaru 10 years from now. You know, if we don't conserve gas, there may not be gas for me to use in it. You know, I may have to put an electric motor in it, and I don't want to do that. But, yeah, because I'm not getting another car. It's the one I love. I've got two of them. I mean, obviously, I, I, anyway. I'm rambling now. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to do ads on vlogs anymore. And um, if I get a toy review that I think is going to make going to make big views, then I'm definitely going to put an ad on it because I have the option, and I may as well. But I, what I want to know from everybody that watches my vlogs is: Do you, you know, are you going to monetize your stuff? Are you going to feel bad if you monetize your stuff? And yeah, pretty much that. I mean, how do you feel about monetizing as a whole?